Hey, what's up everyone? It's Greg with North Coast Baseball Cards. We're going to be doing the giveaway video. I'm going to go over my list of my top 10 favorite Giants players. And whoever scored the most points is going to get this Mickey Mantle card. Real quick, we lost another um, Hall of Famer, an amazing baseball player, Mr. Bob Gibson. Uh, let's see, the 61-63. I guess they used the same picture those years. <laughs> um but anyways, um, fierce competitor. I watched the special on him on the MLB Network not too long ago. And he's a really interesting guy. Um, so kind of sad we lost him. So first I'm going to go over some of the Giants who did not make my list. Um, but are great players. Uh, Mr. Monte Irvin. Um, Hall of Famer. Big time player in the Negro Leagues. And he played for the New York Giants. We got the shot heard around the world, Mr. Bobby Thompson. The man with <laughs> one of the most badass catches you'll ever see, um, Kevin Mitchell. If you haven't seen that catch, um, make sure you uh, Google, you know, YouTube it or Google it. Hunter Pence, great guy. Um, he really helped our team out during the, what was it, the 12 and 14 World Series. Jason Schmidt, awesome pitcher in the early 2000s. Really enjoyed watching him. I think he was a steroid user, if I remember correctly. And my all-time favorite closer, Mr. Rob Nen. I don't know why he did it, but he had a sick toe tap. And then it, <laughs> you know, 98 miles per hour. So, awesome pitcher. So, my honorable mentions, uh, Mr. Orlando Cepeda. He, um, you know, Hall of Famer, batted over 300, um, probably hit around probably 400 home runs. Uh, one of the Giants greats. Another honorable mention is the freak, Mr. Tim Lincecum. Uh, the reason why he's not on my list, um, he was unhittable for four years, but, um, you know, he only had really four solid good years with the Giants, but those years were crazy good. I think he won the Cy Young two of those years, and he dominated in the World Series in one of them. But then, you know, after that, he became a reliever, and, you know, uh, his velocity went down after a while. But for 5'11", 170, throwing that hard, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Another honorable mention is Mr. Matt Williams. Um he was one of my favorite players, uh, another great player that I liked to watch growing up. A great hitter, third baseman, uh, another guy who was in the Mitchell Report uh, steroid investigation. In the year, I believe it was 94, was the player strike year. He was actually on pace to be the first one to, um, you know, he was on pace for 61 home runs that year. He could have been the first one to surpass Roger Maris's, um total. Final one, um, Gaylord Perry, Hall of Famer. So my number 10, I got to go with my man, Madison Bumgarner. Um, he had 10 solid years with the Giants, 10, you know, 10 straight years with the ERA under four. Um, I always think back of what he did to the, in the 2014 World Series, that's up there. If probably one of the greatest you know, collective performances in a World Series altogether. Like, it was amazing watching him in that, um, I think it was game six, uh, where he came in and, you know, saved the game. So, awesome pitcher. Next guy is number nine on my list. I don't have a card for him. It's uh, Jeff Kent. Um, very similar numbers to Orlando Cepeda, so I'm hoping he does get in the Hall of Fame. Um you know, he had 370-something home runs, 2,500 hits. Uh, one of the cool things about him is he actually stood up to Barry Bonds. <laughs> uh, I remember that fight in the dugout, and I think he would have got his butt kicked if um, teammates didn't show up. I'll just say that. Number eight, Mr. Posey. Um, you know, plus... 300 career average over 11 years as a catcher, amazing catcher. Um, I think he'll make the Hall of Fame. We'll see. Uh, I know he opted out this year, but I'm hoping. 
Number seven, we have Mr. Will Clark, Will the Thrill. Uh, he also had an average over 300. Um, he's higher up on my list because he was the, my first favorite player, uh, probably when I was like four or five, six years old, watching him on the Giants. Um, you know, he had that sweet left-handed swing, so he was my number seven. For number six and five, I do not have their cards. <laughs> I wish I did, uh, but for number six, we went Christy Mathewson, and then number five was Mel Ott. Um, you know, these are Giants legends. Um, Ott had 500-plus home runs. Um, I think how the Giants found him, <laughs> he's playing on like a lumber company's um, semi-pro team, and they tried to get him to try out. Then Christy Mathewson, he pitched in the early 1900s. Um, just one of those greats. He died a very interesting way. Um, I think in, he had some interesting um, role in World War I uh, working with chemical weapons. And he accidentally got exposed to him. And eventually, I think he passed away with tuberculosis, if I can remember the story correctly. Number four, we got Mr. Juan Marichal. Uh, you know, he's known for his high leg kick. Uh, you know, I obviously, he was way before my time, but seeing some of those videos where his legs going over his head, that was really cool. Um, just a Hall of Fame giant. I think in the 60s, he's probably um, overshadowed shadowed by guys like Sandy Koufax and Bob Gibson, but all around an amazing pitcher. Number three, we got Willie Mack, Willie McCovey. 500 plus home runs, first ballot Hall of Famer. Um, I think one of the things he said is Barry Bonds doesn't get in the Hall of Fame. It's, you know, a huge sense of injustice that's going to happen. Um, but he's definitely um, one of the Giants great. And so <laughs> this, my one and two pick, um, I guess you could say they're as close as they can be. They both played 22 years. They both, um, all their numbers are almost the same, like batting average, number of games. Um, there were some different ones. Um, I'm talking about Willie Mays and Barry Bonds. And so I think Bonds had like 1K um, less at bats, but he had uh, more plate appearances. <laughs> uh, Bonds had seven MVPs, Mays, I think, looking on, I can't remember, he had two. And then all their numbers were about the same. So um, yes, Mr. Barry Bonds did use steroids, but... Um, He's who I grew up watching. He's who everyone was emulating, you know, who had a left-handed swing. Um, growing up in around San Francisco, like, he was my favorite player. Like, I knew growing up that he was a jerk. I knew that later on I found out, you know, he was using steroids. But, you know, I thought he was one of the greatest. I still think he is one of the greatest hitters I've ever seen. So he, Mr. Bonds, was my number one pick. And I know some of you guys will be upset I know some of you guys think it should be Mays, uh, but this is my list, and I really enjoyed watching him grow up, uh, watching him while I was growing up. So the winner of the, ma the uh, Mantle card, um, he actually guessed nine out of the ten players on my list, and he guessed kind of four, looks, looks like four of the positions that they were in. He guessed Bonds one, Mays number two, I guess Will Clark at number seven and Mad Bum at number 10. But uh, Rob Sports Cards, uh, you won this card. Please get a hold of me um, and I will, with your information, I'll ship it out. Um, I'll leave my email in the description, but it's North Coast Baseball Cards. Uh, <laughs> there is very close second and third. Um, Damian 802, you came very close in second. And then Mr. Jedi Styles, I think, um, I think he won the last giveaway. But um, anyways, um, everyone, thank you for watching my channel. Uh, I love sports cards, and I really appreciate all the collectors in the hobby. You know, everyone who's collecting and in the hobby. Um, it's awesome place to get to know you guys. 
and also to share some of my cards and content. So next giveaway, uh, we're five away from 50 subs. Once we get to 50 subs, I'm going to give away a blaster box of Stadium Club Baseball. Um, until then, everyone stay safe, and I hope everyone's doing well.